Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to dive into the world of chess and learn how to design our very own chess pieces using Onshape. If you're a chess enthusiast like me or just looking to improve your CAD skills, this tutorial is perfect for you. So let's get started. In part one, we had designed the king and the board. I'll put a card, a, a link to that video here, so you can access that video. We will begin in this session with the pawn. So for our pawn, let's start a new part studio. Call that wall pawn. And start a sketch on the front plane. Press N to have a normal view at that plane. Press P to hide the planes. And start with a line from the origin going up here. We'll dimension that with a 38. All right, so that is the height of our pawn. And then continue here. And make that a tangent arc pressing down the left mouse button leave that there and continue with the line and then let's make a center point arc i get that here in my shortcut um, s but let's find that over here there it is center point arc so uh, the center point will be somewhere on, on our line here. It will finish there and somewhere over there. I press L to go into the line command. Then again, um, make that uh, tangent arc. Leave that point there. Continue with the line. Go down with the line. Mm. Make that again a tangent arc here. Somewhere about there. And another tangent arc connecting to that end point. All right. Let's dimension from the bottom that point to that line here, that'll be nine. Then that point to here, 6.5. That radius will be six millimeters. That one, 15. That one is 7.5. Press E to make those two equal and give that one with 1.5 the radius. Dimension that point towards that line with four millimeters and draw one line. Now a construction line from here up here. Press T and connect those with a, a tangent relationship then no and now let's see what we got to do here we just need to um get a dimension in here 12.5 and that point here let's make that with pressing V vertical over that no I think it looks nicer when we put that together with that one. 
And that's it for sketching. Revolve that region around that axis. We got a solid part here, rename that pawn and give that that black color. That one, huh? And well, now let's go to our assembly from the first part of the series and insert our pawn here. Take that planar mate here, take the bottom face of that one and that one, there it is. And we're in the assembly environment and get that assembly linear, linear pattern. So we want our pawn going in that direction. Um, at a distance of 44 and we need eight of those and accept that all right so that is our first part the pawn now um, we want a model of that queen right so um, the, the shape of the queen will be derived from that king. So there are two possibilities for you. Um, you could go back to that first video and just model the king once. Or um, I will paste a, a link here in the comment section of that video to this um, file so you can you can take it from there um, no problem um, I will now um, go to this tab where the king is make a right click and say duplicate so that king copy one but I will rename that and call that Queen. Now um, the queen will have that revolved um, body, but won't have that extrude. So I'll make a right mouse button click here and just say delete that. And that has that doesn't cause any problems for our king here. Let's have a look at that. The king's still got his cross, all right? So, and back in here, I will um, continue designing my queen with a, sh with a sketch on that plane, which will be a circle coincident with that edge. I dimensioned that with uh, four millimeters and make give that a horizontal relationship to the origin and that defines that sketch fully all right sketch two i go to extrude take that sketch go to remove go to through wall turn that around and accept that and that is what I want and from that I'll make that circular pattern of features so the pattern is the extrude one the axis well I can just pick any edge circle like this here this one and I like that at eight instances I accept that and there is my queen now I go back to the assembly tab and insert that queen there there it is 
take the planar mate. Um, take that connector here and place it on that black square, right? Wait a second. No, no, no. Yeah, on that one here. And that's it for today. We get our eight pawns, our king, our queen. And what's uh, next? The rook, bishop, and the knight. And then we'll mirror that over to the other side, right? Okay, I... Thank you for joining me, and if you found this tutorial helpful, please give this video a big thumbs up, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Talk to you soon.